Good morning, viewers. It's on Tuesday, 1st of March, 2022. Now, you are watching NCB News, which will provide you the latest and some great news updates around the world. With me, Gatu Nabila, and here is the update news. U.S. jobs got hunger than expected as the economy starts off Omicron. Employers at 467,000 jobs, the Labor Department said that was far better than analysts had predicted. The jobless rate is up from 3.9% in December to 4%, but that was due to more people looking forward. Analysts said the robust job creation was likely to add the pressure on the U.S. Central Bank to rise interest rate this segment. The Mali survey also revised up its estimates for hiring in December, providing more support for those who say the economy will remain strong even as official withdrawal stimulus policies put in place at the start of the pandemic in 2020. Brian Carlton, a chief economy at Fitch Rating, said that this was a big surprise. It confirmed at each successive half of the virus is having a smaller and smaller impact on activity on labor demand. Federal Reserve Charles Jerome Powell said the bank is seeing rate increase next month, which would be the first rise since 2018. The move is intended to help curb price increases by cooling demand with higher borrowing costs. The central bank is under pressure to rent in inflation which is rising at its fastest pace in nearly 40 years. In the UK, the Bank of England has already raised interest twice in the past few months. President Joe Biden, whose approval rating has said among widespread concerns about inflation, acknowledged the cost living pressures in remains celebrating the job figure. He said his administration was working to address the issues, including by encouraging investment in areas that have been hit by shortage, such as microchip. He also pushed Congress to move forward with his administration's currently stalled spending proposal, which he said will provide relief to programmers like subsidized shelter for families. Again, President Joe Biden said the government was still going on gas prices. They were still going on gas prices. In the meantime, there's a lot of we can do to give this family a little extra breathing room. U.S. businesses have reported widespread pressure. Due to increased material costs and high wage inflation, economists say have been put in the part by the wave of the government's stimulus that followed the pandemic. The latest job report showed the average hourly was increased by 5.7% over the last 12 months, a third acceleration for the Michigan scene in recent years. However, the job does not keep pace with the fast pace of price increases hitting the economy. Still, there are signs the pagans are helping to lure people back into the workforce. The share of people working or looking for work last month exceeded 62% for the first time since the pandemic hit. Women's fast fashion has picked up especially in the recent months as schools and door stories be open. Restaurants and bars are helped to drop in the hearing in the U.S. in January. Retailers, warehouse and transaction businesses also at workers. However, the report showed Omicron still took a toll about 6 million people said they did not work or do their hours call to the pandemic. Well, virus, that's all better news for today. If you need more information, you may send your email to our website on ncb.com. With me, Gatun Nabila. Have a nice weekend and bye-bye.